part of the deal. So welcome back. You know, there's more trouble for the reality show John and K Plus 8. Now, relatives are accusing the couple of exploiting and using their kids as a commodity, and that America needs to know there are no laws protecting children on shows like these. I agree. Those kids are cute. Aren't they cute? Yeah, they they also yeah. say this is the sister and brother-in-law, I think, that, that the children, that you, to have cameras in front of children day and night is harmful. They're, they're not the only show. Tori Spelling and her husband do uh, the same sort of right. thing, and they say that it's harmful for children to have cameras day and night. But Whoopi and I were talking about this. Do you all know what the Jackie Coogan act was? Yeah. Okay. In case you didn't, he, he was a child actor. He earned $4 million, and his uh, yeah, parents... Awesome. His stepfather and his yeah. mother spent all the money. So California enacted the California Child Actors Bill yes. that said that 15% of children's earnings must be in trust. It was updated. 100% of the money sure. earned by child actors has to be solely theirs. That means that instead of the parents getting the money and saying we have to take care of the kids, mm -hmm. these... Eight children should be getting the money, and they're not. And what about hours that they're and on they, camera? Hours, we call One Life to Live, our neighbor, yeah. uh, because they have children on. And three to five-year-olds can only work six hours per day, two days a week. So with the reality right. show... A lot of times but they, they use are, twins in these uh, sitcoms. That yeah. is how they yeah. are slipping no around all of this, well, because they do not they consider these kids... In their but they should, should, But they should be considered... It should be... The law should read, if a child is appearing on camera, right. anything, yeah. these laws should apply to them. Absolutely. The Jackie Coogan... Because Jackie Coogan, you know, they used what to about, work those folks from day to night I and no break. I think the problem break. also is it's cable. I don't know if after, the, the union that would... And I'm all for, I think that obviously the children should be the first priority here. You know, then makes you think, okay, where does this go? Does it translate to YouTube? Does yeah. it translate to MySpace if you're putting your kids on there? Two things. One, it's everyone actors. knows that when you, but they're not actors, these kids. They're on a reality no, show. but they're on TV. When See, that changes it. Right. Mm -hmm. When you are videoing your kids, anyone knows. You stick a camera in front of them. They're not acting totally like themselves, okay? Some get more shy, some get more active. It affects them. You can never observe anything in its natural state. I had the unique chance to be on Survivor, the second series, when no one really knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. Afterward, they provided counseling for us post the mm -hmm. experience, not only because we were physically enduring so much, but also because of the effect of having someone observing you for that long puts mm -hmm. you in a certain amount of stress. And, also, right. you say, and I think that they need to consider that with yeah. the kids. They do, but also the parents are saying, mm -hmm. this is the only way or the major way we can support our children. Uh, our family is by doing a reality show. But imagine if everyone that's used that theory. It's the only do, way I can support my kids is putting them under stress. That's what they're right? saying. I know. We, can't we, can't we also hear, another. by the way, right. that they're getting divorced. I don't know if... Oh, my God. Well, that was... They deny that because then I that would be... Kate, plus well, you know, that could be for ratings too. Yeah, but it's kind of, it's just kind of, excuse me, it's just, it's kind of creepy that the thought that the children are not the first priority here yeah. because mm -hmm. it is not fun. You know, you raising these little kids up in front of a camera. And they seem to have, and you would you would love to think that the parents and somebody's there protecting them, but who's to, who's well, watching? And you, you also remember, look at these young kids too. Um, which one? Uh, the, the first big the reality show. No, no, no. Um, oh. oh, The Rock Star. Sean oh, oh, the Osbournes. The Osbournes. Osbournes. Okay. Right. And I remembered interviewing them, and they had kids who were not little kids, but they said, oh, you know, it doesn't affect the children. Sure. One daughter didn't participate. Remember, she did nothing. Yes. Yes. Well, then it turned out that both of these kids had Adam problems drugs. with drugs. Uh, maybe it wasn't because of the cameras, but that didn't help. Was but, you know, uh, maybe, yeah, but. Who knows? I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, my so point is, it did affect them when you've got kids. But again, yes, uh, going along with what you say, you, uh, if you have a child that grows up in front of the camera, you get a certain amount of attention that you just expect mm. all the time. And when that attention is that's gone, true. you see all of these young child stars, yeah, but the transition to, to adulthood. 20 so years later, let me ask you wait this. a minute, what about 20 years later when the kids are grown up yeah. and the world knows he was a bedwetter? The kid does not want to see that. This show has been on. How, how long is stuff? What about, right, I hear you. What about the fact that this show, why are we, you know, it's interesting to me also that this is just coming about now after the photos of him with another woman came up and talks of them nobody can, nobody potentially cared, getting huh? divorced. This show's been on how many years now? How many know. seasons? We have, no one we cared about to, these kids until I've now. About these well, kids. Where, 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 have we, where have we been? Well, no, We've been reason, celebrating this The reason that it became so popular now, I mean, it has been popular, but now it's the most popular, is because 
uh, the father was seen with another woman, yeah, and, 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 bad and there was a, the whole divorce. Now. Now. It's juicy. Now it's why, why didn't we care about the kids before when they were being exposed? I get this question all the time, and one of the things that we were talking about before is about what what happens on that television. Those kids were not asked if they wanted to be on mm -hmm. TV. No one asked them what they wanted. They no, are no itty bitty it. little kids. Yeah. They no one said anything, so they they, they threw threw them out but there, and now they don't have a bloody the choice. Fact, yeah. The fact that that what is that there are not laws that these children are not sharing in the money. It's the parents. It one has to help the parents. When we look at these reality parents. shows about these kids and everything seems to be going well, yeah. we don't say anything. We don't sound an alarm because before it looked like everybody was having a great time. Now we're hearing about you know the marriage is breaking up, alleged uh, affairs, and then we go. Why oh, are we it, watching it these people to begin with? We, we I mean, we have, another, we have another case. We have another case. Okay, we're, we're uh, talking about Susan Boyle oh, now, yeah. right? Uh, now, she, you know, you know her voice is a beautiful, yeah. fabulous oh, voice her. we made. I, I just, I know, yeah. but every time I don't do it, then you remind me to yeah. do it, so I'm doing it. So the London Sun reports, excuse me, Susan Boyle, the woman who wowed Britain's Got Talent, had audiences captivated again by dropping F-bombs outside a London hotel and then flipping the bird to a TV at the hotel bar when a judge said her 12-year-old rival on the show had the best singing performance so far. Now, this is all alleged. Okay, I wasn't there. None of us were well, there, but we there, heard about it. There's a lot People of evidence were, to say, but we, you know, this is the thing about her that fascinates me is she comes out, she's kind of not gorgeous, and then she has this beautiful voice. Now she looks like sort of dowdy still, but mm -hmm. you know, now we know she's talented, but she looks like she's the good school mom, and now she drops the F bar. It just shows you you can't judge a book by its <laughs> cover. <laughs> thought that she was this, you know, she'd never been kissed as a virgin. Do we like her, her better then or now? Now. Now I you like her more. more. I mean, what, what, what is the, what is the issue? Nature. Yeah, I mean, listen, if, a, if, I, if I was sitting, I had a couple of beers, I know it's time to go. But if I had a couple of beers and heard a judge say the same exact phrase to somebody else that he said to me, I'd have flipped him off, too. Yeah, but we expect you to. We didn't expect the virgin or Sarah Boyle. Why would you expect me to? No, excuse me. This is, this is, this is, this is, what, this is what's so interesting. No, no, this is what people, at, this is what judging a book by its cover does. You say, you expect me to say that. Remember the thing that I, I fetch about from time to time about the political stuff? That was something I never would have done. I never would have done that. But because someone said I did, they just accepted it. People got very nervous when I came here, gave me reams of paper telling me words I could not say. Yeah, I would never that. say no, that. They do that with all of us. I know, but they gave me ten I times the it. amount of paper. I didn't get the book, I didn't get it. We'll be right back with David Hyde. <laughs>